What up? It's Chris from LazyLemming.com and Microsoft, Microsoft, the Microsoft creators of Windows 10, 8, 7, Vista, XP, 98, 95, 3.1, DOS, and the rest. They are not doing so well in Japan. Japan does not like Xbox. <laughs> I mean, or you could see it the other way. Uh, Japan loves Xbox. At least 99 people in Japan braved, put on their brave face to go buy an Xbox last week in Japan. That's how dire it is. That's how bad the situation is in Japan with the Xbox One. Every time Microsoft puts out a console in Japan, and they've done it three times now, they go all out. Spent a lot of money saying, yo, yo, Japan, we love you. We love you. We love your japanese -ness. And uh, we can do that. We can be japanese -y. And, you know, I mean, maybe a couple thousand people will buy the system at launch thinking, like, this is the day. This is the day that Japan, my fellow Japanese people, embrace this Xbox culture with me. And it never happens. It never happens. So, last week, the Xbox One sold 99 units in Japan. 99. Not 100, not 98, but 99 units last week. Meanwhile, the Wii U sold 15,000 units, and the PS4 sold 25,000 units. Uh... None of these numbers are great. The uh, console market is not doing so well in Japan. But my god, the competition, by comparison, is just walking on water compared to what Microsoft is pulling in Japan. And there's talk about how, you know, Microsoft should uh, just stop. They should just give up in Japan already because... <laughs> You know, Japan obviously doesn't like you. And there's people saying, you know, Japan is too uh, racist, essentially. Like, they don't want to try a console that's made by a non-Japanese manufacturer. Yet, the iPhone is very popular in Japan, and that's from an American company. So, it can't just be that. It can't just be the insularity of Japan, because that is a factor, but... As time goes on, I think it becomes much less of a factor. And Microsoft just n does not get what Japan wants. And to a certain extent, Microsoft probably shouldn't care too much about what Japan wants. The only reason Microsoft probably even continues to release systems in Japan is because they want Japanese support. Because Japan makes a lot of still very relevant games. Final Fantasy 15, that's still hitting the Xbox One, you know. Uh, and it is only probably the case because the Xbox One, Microsoft, still continues to show a vested interest in Japan. Platinum is developing, developing an exclusive game, Scalebound, for the Xbox One. It's probably not going to sell very well in Japan, get, considering, you know, it's an exclusive to Xbox One, and 99 units were just sold last week. Also, the fact that uh, this game is kind of niche, and it's probably not going to sell that all that well in America or Europe either. But Microsoft caught the platinum bug, so, you know... You get a dragon game. A lot of people want a dragon game. At least a niche amount of people want a dragon game. So there you go. Anyway, uh, yeah, things aren't going so well for Microsoft in Japan. But they're probably going to just, you know, trudge through it. They've uh, trudged through Japan. They're now trudging through China. But even China, even though it's not the market they wanted it to be, is treating Microsoft better than Japan is. So you win some, you lose some, I guess. What's funny to me is that the uh, Japanese market really does not accept the Xbox brand at all. They have not accepted it from day one, and it's seemingly only gotten worse. And the irony is is that the uh, systems themselves have gotten a lot better over time, to a certain extent. The controllers, my God, have they gotten better than what Microsoft started with. The console itself, the Xbox One console, is a monster. It's a monstrosity. 
The uh, original Xbox was also a monster. The 360, the original one, they slimmed it down a bit, gave it a little bit more uh, style. It also was suicidal and killed itself 100% of the time. But uh, the Xbox One, they really tried to avoid that kind of catastrophe, and part of the result of that is a giant freaking console with a giant uh, uh, power brick. So, <laughs> Microsoft still doesn't have the hardware designed down like Sony does, but, you know, that's uh, what they chose to do, and they know that the West cares less about a huge console than the East does, obviously. But I digress. That's just me rambling. Let me know your thoughts about Microsoft selling 99 consoles in Japan. 99 Xbox One consoles sold last week in Japan. If you average that out to about four weeks, you get about just under 400 systems sold in a month. Not a good month for Microsoft in the beginning of 2016. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe more if you haven't already. I'll see you next time.